The person a cat chooses to sleep with can tell you a lot about the relationship between that cat and the person. But what exactly are we getting from this information? In this video, we're going to be breaking down exactly how cats choose who to sleep with. For cats, just like any other animal, including people, sleeping is a vulnerable time. It's a time when a cat is really unable to respond quickly to things in their environment. And so the place they choose to sleep and the people they choose to sleep with are places where they feel comfortable. And so we can infer certain things from that choice. Sleeping is a particularly sensitive thing for cats who, while they spend a huge chunk of the day snoozing, rarely drop into truly deep sleep. Only about 15% of a cat's sleep is deep, whereas the rest of it is composed of short little cat nuts, right? So when your cat is deeply sleeping and they're choosing to do it with you, you can assume that it's because they trust you. So this is the first way that cats choose who to sleep with. They will sleep with the person they trust. This is something that stems from kittenhood when cats will sleep with their siblings and with their mom, the cats with whom they have the closest and most trusting relationships. A cat is not going to sleep with a person or another cat or anyone who makes them feel in danger. So if your cat is choosing to sleep with you, it's a very good sign that they trust you. The second factor is warmth. So cats, as we know, seek out heat. Cats like to sleep in warm places, whether it's on a radiator or in a sunbeam. And they will often like to sleep with people because we put off body heat. Sometimes they will choose to sleep with a person who is warmer compared to someone who tends to run a little bit cooler. And sometimes you can use this uh, when understanding how your cat is choosing between two different people to sleep with. The third way that cats think about who to sleep with is comfort. So this will involve both you, yourself, and uh, your bed and your room. Cats want to sleep in a place that is comfortable. They seek out softness. They seek out, again, warmth. They want to be in a place that feels nice and cozy. So you might find that a person who is thrashing around a lot in their sleep, moving, is going to get less cat sleeping time than someone who tends to sleep really soundly. You might also find that a person who has more body fat is softer and kind of more comfortable to sleep with compared to someone who's pretty skinny. Alternatively, it might not be you at all, it might be your bed. Maybe you have a softer bed than someone else in the home or your side of the bed is more comfortable for the cat. It's not all about you. So think about the situation in the room as well as things about your body that might be making you more or less comfortable to sleep with. Next, cats might choose to sleep with someone because that person and their room or their bed is away from something they don't like. So again, a cat wants to feel safe when they're sleeping, so they're going to avoid certain things that make them feel in danger. For example, if you have multiple cats in the home and one cat has established a certain bed as their place to sleep, and another cat has kind of an adversarial relationship with them, they're going to choose to sleep uh, in another place. They're not going to want to sleep with that cat. So if you can identify things in a particular room or bed or space that might be making your cat feel unsafe, then you can try to remove that and perhaps make your cat feel more comfortable sleeping with you. The last way that cats choose who to sleep with is imprinting and feelings of connections. Again, we have the trust factor, but some cats will sleep with a certain person because they have a special connection, perhaps as an imprint connection, which is where early in life the cat kind of established the person as a pseudo parent, and that is the person that they want to spend the most time with. You can tell that this is the case if, for instance, you raise a cat as a bottle baby and that cat is constantly clinging to you, following you to the bathroom, following you to your bed. They're absolutely attached to you way more than anyone else in the home and they sleep with you as well. Cats will sleep with the person with whom they have the closest bond. Again, this stems from kittenhood behavior. They'll sleep with their mom. They'll sleep with the person who they are imprinted on. So what if your cat doesn't like sleeping with you? Does that mean that your cat doesn't like you and doesn't trust you? I don't think this is the case. Again, there are a lot of factors at play here. It could be something physical. It could have something to do with your bed or your room. And it could have something to do with something in your cat's upbringing that you have no control over. I've heard of many cats who have a really deep bond with a certain person, but they never sleep in the same bed as that person. So it's not something to read as a sign that your cat doesn't like you. 
If you're still feeling nervous about it, you can watch our video on signs that your cat loves you, um, which I'll put a link to in the comments and description. Other than that, there are a few ways that you can encourage your cat to sleep with you. So one, you want to create an environment that's comfortable for your cat. Make sure that you have removed anything that might make your cat uncomfortable, like loud noises, other cats that might stress out your cat, a dog, anything that might make your cat feel unsafe. You can also incorporate things that attract your cat to the room. So for instance, putting a cat tree near your bed might draw the cat to the room. And also just get your cat into the habit of being in there, playing with your cat in the room, giving them treats in the room, creating positive associations with that space is going to encourage your cat to spend more time there. And then start a routine that encourages your cat to not only sleep at night, but sleep with you. So giving your cat a good full meal around bedtime is going to help them to relax and go to sleep and playing is also going to help to tucker them out. So a little bit of play, a little bit of food, that's going to help your cat to sleep through the night. And then be sure to kind of push your cat towards your room as you're doing all of this. With luck, uh, you will be able to encourage your cat to spend more time in that room with you and potentially sleeping through the night with you. Increasing your connection with your cat is also going to help your cat to trust you, feel more comfortable with you, more bonded with you and more inclined to sleep together. So that's about it for me, but I want to hear about your experiences. Who does your cat sleep with? Do they sleep with you? Or do they prefer to sleep with someone else in the home? And has it ever been kind of a conversation topic around the home? I would love to hear about it. So let me know about your experiences in the comments. I'll be there in the comments responding to your stories. And other than that, uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.